welcome to another session of Smarter Business Tips at 10. And today's session is going to be on do this one thing to make doing business with you easy. If these business tips add value, give us a thumbs up. That's awesome. Love it. Spread the word. So you're with Peter Butler of Smarter Websites. So what is the do this one thing to make doing business with you easy? It's the simplest thing ever, but seemingly the most overlooked in making it easy for people to do business with you. It's your email signature, and it absolutely does my head in. Now, I'll just zoom over to this particular post, which I did way back in uh, June last year, how to have the ultimate email signature. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and review what not to do. Now, I have uh, Philip Quatcher's blessing on this. Um, so these are the things you don't do. Now, check your own email signature as we go along. But there's no point in having your email address in your email signature. There's actually just no point. Like, why would you do that? It's coming from your email address. Like, dumbest thing ever. Um, now, can anybody spot the fundamental issue with this beautiful graphic? There's a web address. Great. That's a good idea. There's some social media links. Fantastic. All things that I would strongly recommend. Uh, there's some elements that support the credibility of this particular business. But the one fundamental flaw here is that this is one big graphic. So none of these links are actually clickable links, none of them. So that's the one thing that you can make can make a big difference in your business is that all these links are clickable and they direct people through to your website or your social media platforms. It just makes sense. So if I zoom over to my signature, you'll see that I've got my normal sign off. I've got a score your website. Now this has brought 13 clicks in the last month. Now, I didn't have to do anything after this initial setup, and this is why I go on about it, is because when it's done, it's done. You know, you only have to do this once. Whatever you decide to put in your email signature is your choice. But there's things that can just generate traffic for free. Why would you not do that? So I've actually generated 13 clicks through to that audit, which you know is going to generate business for me. Um, I have chosen to have a request for reviews. Other people have testimonials, and I'll go through a short list shortly. Um, this, this particular link gets used a lot for people who want to do regular catch-ups with me. They know to go to my email signature, click on that, and it goes through, and they can actually make a, uh, an appointment with me um, online without checking with me, it checks in with my diary. The other thing is that you've got to tell people what you want them to do. It's all very well, if we go back to there, there, there. You know, it's connect with us, call to action, that's okay, that's good. Um, and if we go back to here, um, so I'm telling people, visit, with our, visit my website, connect with us socially. So I'm encouraging people, there's a call to action. So if I go back over to, there's so many windows open. So this is a blog post and a video I did, and I actually critiqued six different um, uh, email signatures. So Mark Fregnan, Tracy Loebshire, Vanessa's, David Osborne. Now this was done about a year ago. So their email signatures have evolved since that time. Um, but I've got some rules about uh, using emails, Gmail or Hotmail in business. Like seriously, really? You want to protect your branding, not to, yeah, not good. Um, get a domain email account. And so this goes through. Now, there's actually a link in this particular blog post, and I'll put these uh, links into the Facebook thread. Shall I do it now? No, if I do that, you're going to click on it and you're going to stop watching me. So no, don't, don't do that. Um, so I'll go over to the uh, anatomy. So this is a summary of the anatomy of a good email signature. So no links in the main image unless it's your main web link. So the whole 
image is a clickable link that's acceptable but not as I just showed you make sure you use sharp images not blurry graphics the size get that right if you have a quick look at my signature again you'll see my mugshot is the size of a business business card it doesn't have to be exactly that size but make sure it's not too large or too small go back over to here mugshot always I believe it's a good idea to have your uh, photo in your email signature because if the person hasn't met you um, they know what you look like if they're going to meet you uh, the other thing is the uh, trust and the credibility factor um, so it just adds that element of personalization and confidence yeah no links in the graphic did I mention that already um, your catch cry your claim to fame don't use too many colors make it gentle on the eye and sectionize your signature as well and that's really important because I've seen some signatures that actually have all of the right elements in there they've got testimonials they've got links they've got their memberships and accreditations and all of that but there's so much information in there having that much information is fine as long as it's broken up so that as you're viewing it um, it's it's easy to absorb so it's really important to sectionize your email signature put your contact details but not your flipping email address um, it's such a waste um, links tell them what to do I discussed that call to action you know visit your website connect with us socially um, testimonials I don't have them but I think it's a great idea uh, absolutely I do have a link through to where my reviews are or did have now I'm actually asking for reviews your membership or affiliations um, booking appointment software so I've done that I mean that is such a massive time saver um, I should actually do a segment just on that this booking software for those who need to make it easy for their clients to make appointments with them oh, it's just a massive time saver all this emails back and forth Tuesday's good for me morning or afternoon oh morning oh yeah but I can't be oh, really um, now the other thing is that I notice a lot of people with your email signature when you send an email if I went to Outlook and click on send an email it'll insert my email signature but there's also a setting and I use Outlook where your replies and your forwards you can include your signature or not I personally do because I don't see any reason why I wouldn't um, it just makes it easier if that person wants to respond they scroll down they see my phone number pick up the phone phone me and that's why I sort of go on about this is because quite often I get people communicating with me and um, th their contact details just aren't there and then I've got to go and hunt for it and then I get an interruption and I don't get back to them that day and well you know what they're making it hard for me to do business with them and that's just dumb um, any disclaimers that uh, and a lot of people use disclaimers but look it doesn't have to be a, a bloody billboard um, you know make the text smaller it just I don't know overkill um, outcomes here's the thing when it's set up it's set up and it delivers consistent results and it doesn't have to be massive results and that's where a lot of people I think don't connect the dots here you know when it's done it's done and if you get one five ten clicks through to your website per week per month per whatever you're not having to do anything to get that traffic why would you not do it you know you'll direct traffic through your website through your social platforms your calendar bookings page it just makes sense so there's a blog post so this is a summary of all of that um, so I hope that helps now that's going to be a wrap for today but here's the thing your mobile phone signature now this is where a lot of people totally blow it now in a mobile phone your, your email signature all you do is go to your uh, phone your app go to settings and look for signature and all you want to do in your mobile phone email responses is add your phone number you know you don't want the full sexiness of you know an email signature like that with all the graphics it's not going to work on a mobile but at least have your contact details because you don't know how people are going to be what platform they're going to read your response on and quite often I'm mostly on my PC 
I get a response from a mobile phone and again the contact details are not in there and it says something like uh, you know get Outlook for Android right so you're advertising Androids or Outlook via your email signature why would you do that what's that doing to your branding is it making you look professional yeah no um, so you know have a look at all of this because it does make a difference in your business okay that's it so if there's no questions if there's no points to make does anybody have anything to say on this hopefully it adds value and make it will make a difference for you um, if you want to join our group for more business tips that's smart tank mastermind I'll put a link in the comments thread I will also put a link through to this blog post which I did over a year ago and I'll put another link to this anatomy which is uh, just a very short checklist so if you think a friend or a colleague will benefit from this give us a uh, thumbs up that's awesome love it spread the word and I'll also load this video along with the transcript to my website. So just go to smarterwebsites.com.au. I hope that helps. If you need any help at all, give me a shout out. That's Peter Butler from Smarter Websites here. Go and work smarter.